Hey guys, welcome to Series World. Today I'm going to explain an erotic thriller series called Dark Desire from 2020. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The 11th episode opens and a certain place is burning on fire. The fire seems to be set intentionally. The scene changes and Alma and Leonardo are in the field with the police search team to look for Zoe. Both of them are worried as hell. An officer comes up to them with a worn out notebook and asks if it belongs to Zoe. Before they can answer, another officer comes and informs them that they have found something. Alma, Leonardo, and the officers head to the place. Alma breaks down crying seeing the sight, and Leonardo tries to stop her from going further. Flashbacks start, and Zoe and Dario are making love in the field. After that, Dario takes a blade and cuts Zoe's wrist. The flashback ends, and Alma is looking at the blood-stained sheet lying on the field. Later, Alma is seen in her backyard smoking, and the police are going through Zoe's laptop inside the house. They inform Leonardo that Animus disappeared after the date. They track his IP address and find out that his address is in the neighborhood of Santo Domingo, the same place as the suspect Dario. Leonardo tells the police that he will go with them. Alma comes to him and tries to go with him too, but Leonardo tells her not to follow him and leaves. The background changes again, and Vallejo is talking with Esteban. He tells Esteban that even though Brenda's case was closed, he got an order from above to help Leonardo. He also tells him that he didn't know what type of help until later he found out about the exhumation. Esteban asks him what they found, and he tells him that they found nothing. He also adds that somebody exhumed the body before they did. Esteban asks if they have any suspects. Vallejo tells him that Leonardo told him that this is classified information. At first, he thought it was related to national security. But now, after discussing with Esteban, both of them agree that it was an attempt to cover for some big shot. Vallejo also adds that he only told him about this to warn him. Vallejo then suggests Esteban not to dig around the case anymore. The scene cuts to Alma going through Zoe's stuff in her room. She finds a doll on Zoe's table and starts crying while holding it. Then she finds the love poem book which Dario read to her once. She opens the book and finds some marked lines. The lines tell how if they are in love, pain and death can be easy and beautiful. After reading this, she runs from the room. The story cuts to Leonardo who is inside Dario's bedroom. He is fuming imagining Dario and Alma making love in the bed, and later imagining Zoe lying in the same bed naked. Right at that moment, an officer calls him, and the scene cuts. Dario is now seen walking inside a warehouse when some officers come and catch him. Leonardo also arrives at the place. The officers are holding Dario's head underwater and asking him where Zoe is. Before he responds, they push his head underwater again. Meanwhile, Alma goes to Dario's place and finds Zoe unconscious inside Dario's car, but the doors are locked. The story shifts back to Dario. Leonardo holds a gun to Dario's head, threatening to kill him. Dario starts crying. Suddenly, Zoe bursts through the door to the place with Alma and stops Leonardo. The story progresses, and Zoe is screaming at Leonardo inside their house for doing this to Dario. Alma tells her that they were worried because Zoe disappeared and didn't answer her phone. Zoe explains that her phone stopped working and she didn't have their numbers. Alma defends herself, saying they were concerned about what could have happened to her. Zoe informs them that she just went on a picnic. Leonardo then forces Zoe into her room. He warns her not to see Dario again, but she insists that he is her boyfriend. She adds that if Dario files a complaint against Leonardo, she will be a witness for him. Leonardo returns inside and Alma approaches him. She tells him they can't stop Zoe from seeing Dario unless they tell her the truth. Leonardo doesn't reply and instead asks Alma why she went there again and if she is worried about Dario. He questions whether she loves Dario that much. Alma tells him she just wants to tell Zoe the truth, no matter how painful it is. She also expresses that she wants to take things to court and investigate everything, including Brenda's death. Leonardo becomes furious and tells her that won't happen. Alma doesn't understand why and tells him he is the most ethical and professional person she has ever seen, asking why he is acting differently now. Leonardo tells her not to expect him to approach this professionally as it's already driving him crazy. After some discussion, he calms down and pleads with Alma not to make this public as it will ruin his family and career. The scene changes and Zoe is taking a shower. While showering, she is having flashbacks of the time she spent with Dario. They made love in the field when it started pouring down. They ran inside the car in the rain. Dario suggests her not to go home tonight as driving in this rain can be dangerous. He then asks if she regrets coming here and she says no. They then sleep the night in the car. As the flashback ends, 
Blood is seen washing off from Zoe's body in the shower. The background changes to Esteban, who is smoking and watching the footage in his room. Meanwhile, Alma is lighting the poem book on fire in her backyard. Leonardo is in his office having flashbacks of making love with Brenda. We then see him in front of Brenda's house the night before her murder. As soon as he enters, they start making love. The flashback ends, and Leonardo is done looking at Brenda's case file. Dario is also seen in the house looking around and having flashbacks of everything that happened with Zoe and others. He then starts laughing. Meanwhile, Alma is done with burning the book, and she is having flashbacks of her intimate moments with Dario. In the morning, Alma wakes up half asleep and sees Brenda holding her hand and telling her that nothing is as it seems. She then wakes up fully and sees no one in the room. The story moves forward, and Alma is going to her class. Suddenly, Esteban pulls her over from the side. He tells her sorry for startling her and says that there's something that she needs to know. She informs him that she told Leonardo everything about Dario. Esteban freaks out after hearing this and tells her to take him somewhere quiet as they need to talk. The scene cuts to Zoe, who is ranting to Karina about what her father did the day before. Karina tells her that his actions are understandable, but Zoe tells her how her father even got the police involved and made it a big deal. Karina tries to make her understand that they were very worried about how they would find her. She also tells her that if Zoe keeps dating Dario, she won't cover for her anymore, and leaves. Zoe starts to leave too and sees Dario waiting for her. The scene changes to Edith, who is going to Leonardo's office room. She finds him crying with guns and bullets all around the table. She freaks out and demands an answer from him. He repeatedly tells her to leave him alone. She then takes Brenda's case file from the table and asks if this is related to the files. Leonardo tells her that Brenda has nothing to do with anything. He then starts having panic attacks, and Edith asks if they should call for a doctor. Leonardo again tells her to leave him alone, but she continues to push him for an answer. This agitates Leonardo, and he screams at her to leave him alone. The story goes back to Esteban, who is arguing with Alma about the fact that she told Leonardo everything. Alma defends herself, saying that she said because Zoe could be affected, she had to tell him. Esteban then tells her that the situation is worse than they thought, he then shows her something on his device. Meanwhile, Leonardo is in bad condition, and he can't even walk properly. Edith comes to him and tells him that he doesn't have to talk to her but she will take him to his psychiatrist. Leonardo keeps telling her to leave him alone. He then tells her that Alma is cheating on him, and that she should leave him alone now. After that, he falls to the ground, and Edith starts screaming for help. The scene changes to Esteban, and he is done showing Alma the footage where Dario is seen leaving. From the footage, it is evident that Dario didn't kill Brenda as he left 15 minutes after he arrived, and Brenda was alive at that time. Esteban tells her that there is something else too. The background changes again to Zoe and Dario making love in the restroom. Meanwhile, Alma is seeing another footage where Leonardo is entering Brenda's house. She can't believe her eyes. Dario is seen again making love to Zoe but imagining Alma in her place. The episode ends with Edith and other people hovering over Leonardo as he loses consciousness. To watch more explanations of these kinds of series, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, thanks for watching.